So next you're going to click every other hand target. So when your dog first touches your hand, you're not going to click. Your dog will then touch your hand again and you will click the second time. It should look like this. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now if you keep repeating this, what you'll find is that your dog will take their nose away from your hand less each time. One, two. But you can see though she didn't take her nose away as much as she was before. One, two. So basically the dog learns that there's no point taking their nose away because it's just quicker to keep their nose on your hand and to pulse it, to press once and then again, but without ever taking their nose away from your hand. And this is where the duration starts to come from. The dog just leaves their nose there, presses once and then presses again more, but the nose doesn't leave the hand. So let's have a look. One, two. So if the dog does take their nose away, you just click the second time again, just like you were before. So once you've got your dog keeping their nose there, pressing once and then pressing twice, um, you can then start to move to three pulses. So you, the dog will touch your hand once, that wouldn't work, twice wouldn't work, and the three, third time would work. So, and then once you've got that, you can move to four pulses. So basically that's how you develop the duration. You teach the dog that they have to sort of pulse and press your hand more, more to earn that click. And what happens is the dog teaches themselves that it's better not to take the nose away from the hand because it's just quicker if they just leave it there and press whilst it's there.